So, if we want the audience to say yes to us, if we want them to pay attention, if we want them to actually bond with us, what are the things we have to do? There's three major things you can do, some of which we've already spoken about. One of them is you can tell them a story to get them on side with you that shows that you understand, a story with people in it who are like them, people who are dealing with the same challenges as them, or even sometimes story the story of people who are actually like them. I was a uh, presentation mastery last week, Sharon brought up a, a, a story about she's a, she works in alternative medicine and the Cancer Council and uh, she often talks to surgeons about how alternative medicine, complementary medicines can actually help people going through cancer experiences and, and she talked about the fact that they have all these objections they just look at it with their arms folded going I just don't care. Um, so I talked, I, I suggested to her that the story she needed to tell them was about surgeons who have made that jump. So what she says isn't important, but if there are other surgeons who have made that leap, who are actually now prescribing to their patients, um, suggesting to their patients that they look into early, to alternative therapies, uh, then, um, then that would help. So I have a brother-in-law, for example, uh, my brother-in-law uh, is a surgeon, and while he may still be wary of it, when his children came up with impossible problems health-wise uh, and started to use alternative therapies, things seem to work differently. And so he has, over time, become more of an advocate of why don't you try it? Um, because, uh, you know, sometimes the evidence hasn't yet caught up with us. But her saying, you should do it, is not the same as her saying, let me tell you the story about this surgeon. Let me tell you about the story about this surgeon. Um, let me tell you this patient story. Patient stories don't do the, the same thing. But if it's this surgeon, and he's an intelligent, smart man, then the intelligent, smart men in the, in the, and in the audience are gonna go, oh, maybe I should pay attention. Intelligent, smart person, just like me. Um, so find a story that's just like them. Uh, remember that flattery, uh, the researchers who've been working on flattery have yet to find a place at which flattery doesn't work. So it's totally fine to flatter your audience by saying, you know, attractive, interesting, clever, whatever they think is important. Um, have you, the people in your story have those characteristics as well. Alternatively, make the story a process where I was working with someone who had the same problem that you had and they thought it wouldn't work. Uh, so allow the story to essentially bring up their objections and then counter those objections without them ever having to say, I don't believe in you, I don't think it's credible, whatever it is. So that's part one. If you want to create a bond with the audience, find a story of someone who's like them, who may have had reservations in the past and has moved past those reservations, tell them that story. The second way to bond with the audience is to describe their problem. We talked about this in the why frame. Describe their problem better than they can describe it. When they go, wow, this chick really gets me, or this guy really gets me, they really understand my problem, they will give you more credibility. And the third thing is give them a promise, something they actually want. Allow that, that uh, promise uh, again, this is what you do in the wireframe. Allow that promise to show that you understand where they're up to. That's the three things. Let's move in the next video. We're going to talk about the procedure for getting over objections. You will love it. Stick with me.